Hello, Internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. And tonight is very exciting because we are looking at the new Amp Room from SoftTube, and it is much, much, much improved. First off, it has four suites. You have a Marshall suite. You have a vintage suite. You have a metal suite and a bass suite. Now, first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run it down on a mix and I'm only going to be using these plugins. No extra gear, no pedals, no anything. I'm even gonna use the tuner on the plugin. Now, my background is R&B music, so um, these are very rock forward amps and I'm gonna try to do my best and have some fun with it. And then come on back here afterwards and we'll just noodle around on this amp room a little bit and get some sample sounds for ya. So we pull it up here and we start with the Marshall Suite. You can hit all of the suites down here. So we got Marshall Metal, Vintage, and Bass. So we're in the Marshall Suite. And you got some options here. You got a lot of options. First off, we got a Blues Breaker, JMP 2203, Super Lead 1959, a Silver Jubilee, and as well as a JCM 800. Up top, you have a Gate Control. Then we have a mono or a stereo, so we're gonna we're gonna go st stereo, and then we have a tuner here, and then we have the studio. The studio is pretty impressive, I gotta say. So this uh, this amp right here is a it's an Angus Black is what they're calling it. So there's not a whole lot in here, but we have it looks like a little bit of a preamp here. We have some stuff surrounding the cabinets here, and you can choose different mics. You can choose different cabinets. We can just keep switching cabinets if we want, but we have all different kinds of mics here. You can also change your placement. And um, so we're running through two different, and then we got a mixer here uh, for both of these two cabinets. Here we have a, a room setting. We have a comp here, some extra EQ, and then it looks like some more EQ down here. 
And there's a whole lot of other stuff that you can add to this. It is just really, really expansive. But let's uh, let's grab some sounds here from it first. So like I said, this is the Angus Black is what they're calling it. found as easiest to navigate is by starting with some of the presets and then um, you know changing them from there so we have some presets here we can go with uh, we can go with something kind of clean let's try that this is called clean next door breakup got a JMP here <laughs> Pedal options. So here we can add uh, we can add a kind of a rat. We can add a tube screamer. And you can see there's a bunch of different options here. We got an auto walk, chorus, clean boost, compressors, a couple of different kinds of compressors, delay, a DI, distortion, EQ. Got some boss classics here. Got a preamp, we got some reverb, we got the room ambience module there, some treble boost, tremolo, all kinds of stuff. And it all sounds really, really good. So we've been in kind of the crunchy, bluesy end of things. Let's, uh, let's check out something that's a little bit more high gain. And uh, let's see here, punk rock now. Nah, let's do beefy JMP. <laughs> On the track, I used uh, some of my own presets that I made, and you can find those under user presets. So for that second solo, I grabbed the Silver Jubilee, and it sounds just unreal. <laughs> here you know if you're looking to take a stab at some of that uh, John Mayall type sound sounds really great <laughs> we did there is we changed the blend uh, from this cabinet over to this cabinet and you'll notice it got darker because there is a 160 on this cabinet which is a darker microphone and it looks like we got a 57 on the other side which is brighter so if we go back over here <laughs> And then 
then go back over to and we can even mess around with something a little little bit of a brighter microphone and move where it's at Let's take a look at the vintage suite and I did use some sounds from this on the intro. The first thing that I did was my own preset. So we go here and we go to user presets, we go to clean one. <laughs> Okay, apparently I didn't save that one after I updated it. So I turned the bright switch off. Brought some of that treble down. Then what I did was I went into this section and I added a chorus. And we'll add some depth, some speed, and some mix. on a solo section here was this custom 100 watt and it just, it sounds so awesome. <laughs> Let's go over and check out the metal suite, which I can already tell you, not something I'm super familiar with. So I'm going to be relying on a lot of presets for this one. Let's see what we got. Let's start with some crunch. It says 80s mutt. I assume that's in reference to mutt lang. Let's see how that sounds. Let's see, uh, let's get a little bit dirtier and see what we got. Metal Sweet, 
Let's go over to high gain. Let's see here. Uh, ooh, JCM 800 chunks. <laughs> So here we are in the bass suite again. I am not a bass player, but I have to play bass on my stuff because uh, I don't have any other choice. So I'm the only one here. Um, I've got a couple of different bass options. This is just a really basic, clean sound that I liked a lot. And we can get into some really cool Motown type sounds. So there you go. That was just a very, very brief look at a very, very expansive project. There is just so much stuff inside of these plugins, and it's it's just wild. It's absolutely wild. I was a big fan of the original Softube amp room um, when it came out many, many, many years ago. But this this is so much better. It's just it is so 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 much better. So if you are somebody who enjoys the original. Uh, amp room, you are going to want to upgrade to this one. Uh, but if you are in general somebody who does studio recording and stuff like that, I would use these on records. They sound that good. So um, I am a, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. So thanks, Softube, for sending this over for me to check out. And thank you for your time. <laughs>